sound of freedom. If I had told you at the beginning of the year or someone had told me at the beginning of the year that sound of freedom will earn more domestically than the Transformers movie, Creed three mission impossible elemental fast X scream and flash, even D and D I would have I would have thought you're nuts. Sound of Freedom crossed 167 million. By the time you're seeing this, it's probably easily well over 170. I'm still sort of blown away about the movement. It's still going very, very strong. And I will say that it may actually, by the time you see this, it may also actually be ahead of Indiana Jones because it's within striking distance of at least a week or so. Don't quite know, I mean, how much longer it has legs. There's been a lot more competition the last couple of weeks. Obviously, since the uh, Barbenheimer stuff is kind of followed up by Meg and Haunted Mansion and stuff like that, it, feel, it sort of fills up a lot of auditoriums, right? So the Sound of Freedom uh, theater count started diminishing rather quickly um, from where it was a little while ago. So I don't know exactly because still a few million behind. So I'm not quite, quite sure where we're going to be on that. But at least at this point, I would say within a week or so, it should catch and surpass Indiana Jones as well. Now, again, I'm pointing all of this out as domestic because Sound of Freedom really hasn't even had an international release. Like it's it's going to get one now, but you know that's actually going to be very very short lived, very very small scale. It's definitely compared to these other uh, tentpole big blockbuster movies with this massive studio money behind it, that is not the case for Angel Studios. This movie has exceeded everyone's expectations, including their own, um, because it definitely hits you in the feel. But the idea that Sound of Freedom, which, by the way, let me make sure I uh, let me pull this up real quick. Uh, this is the most recent uh, daily I have listed. This is uh, this would be the eighth. So let me switch this over to the daily. Hang on here. Let me go over here to the daily. On the eighth. And show you guys that. So here's the daily. This is Tuesday the 8th. Um, Barbie's still cranking. Ninja Turtles, Oppenheimer, Meg, Haunted Mansion, and on Sound of Freedom. So Sound of Freedom is 6th. So this was the 8th. It did 1.17. Indiana Jones is like 294. So this is literally within, you know, like I said, if it starts going up, if, it, if it's if it's plus a million, uh, let's see, that's this Tuesday. So you have Wednesday and Thursday. So let's say you get two more million. So it's going to be literally by the end of the weekend, following Monday or so. It easily could have also surpassed Indiana Jones. That is that is crazy, isn't it? Can you can you guys think of a situation on this kind of level? I I I, I can think of movies like when Blair Witch came out or you know, really small scale films of massive success. Like, you know, like when other faith-based films have like surged, like a war room or something like that, it makes like $40 million or whatever, but 167 million to be over. Let's just call it 170. During the summer, when everyone's wanting to go to these massive tent po films, that's just some crazy numbers, right? Like, isn't it just shocking that Jim Caviezel, and Sound of Freedom, $170 million. It's in the top 10 for the whole year now. So it's in the, in the top 10. I don't know it's going to hold there. because You do have some big blockbuster stuff that's coming along later on this year. Again, assuming all things are holding, like we have to go on the assumption, at least for now, that the release schedule hasn't going to be you know, massively changed. Like we're, we, we're just going to go on that. Right. So, you know, Gran Turismo is coming. Dune two is coming. Uh, Equalizer three is coming. Um, I think, you know, none two will make a lot of money. Saw X will make a lot of money. Um, those type of films are, are going to do great. I think Dune two is probably the biggest one that I, I mean, there's a massive buzz, buzz with that. I'm very fascinated about there is, there's not been, an inkling of buzz about Hunger Games. Did you guys know there was a, a prequel with the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes? I got like zero buzz on that. So I don't know if that's actually going to hold or not. Of course, the Wonka Project, Aquaman, 
um, color purple, that, that, that new version of a film we don't need, but they're going to do that. So some of the stuff's kind of out there. We'll kind of see what holds. I would think that a lot of that stuff may get bumped if the strike lingers on much longer. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, there's a good chance though that sound of freedom could end in the top 10 box office for the whole year. It's possible. I would say doubtful, but it, just the fact that it's, it's gotten this far is still just massively in, in, impressive. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to shout that out. I, I just couldn't believe the numbers. It was just, it was, it was, it was, it was also encouraging and refreshing to see that kind of support, um, for that movie. So. Anyway, that's my take on it. I uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. I am Pops.